morning. It's good to, good to be up here again. Uh, it seems like I've been up here a lot, but that's okay. Um, before I give the offering message, I just want to give just a little bit of information on 123 Now Debt Free. Um, just a little update, because I feel like that we need to all stay informed and stay on the same page. Um, so, and, and these numbers are kind of approximate. Um, so by looking at the board out there, it looks like there's about 60 tokens that have been taken off the board. And the purpose of the token, yeah, that's good. The purpose of the token is for you to have a reminder that every time you see it, you say one, two, three, now debt free. And the purpose of the token is your commitment that you're gonna give that amount every month. Um, so I just wanna, uh, so 60, about 60 are taken off. And anytime the word token is used in the Bible, that word is connected with covenant in the Bible. So I want to thank you, those that have taken those tokens and have covenanted with us on this 123 Now campaign, uh, debt-free campaign. Thank you for covenanting with us. So we have about, out of that 60, we have about 20 of these pledge cards filled out. Now, I don't know all the logistics of all this, but it helps us, it helps Alice if we fill out these cards. If you uh, write down what number you took and that you sign it and then you can give it lots of ways to give it. And we have a lot of people that are giving a lot of different ways. Uh, the, the campaign was to give monthly, but some people have been giving yearly or every six months or whatever. So if you can give a great big chunk of money for right now that would be great and especially here at the end of the year so um, so far we've had about five thousand dollars come in that has praise gone the on the debt praise the Lord now my faith was and my faith still is that it would be paid for by Christmas and that came out by the Holy Spirit so am I discouraged no because I look at the things that are not seen, and what's not seen is we have it now. In fact, we got it about seven years ago. So we didn't get it by Christmas, the manifestation of it by Christmas. But that doesn't affect our faith. Our faith is we have it now, and we keep going, and we keep pressing, and we keep giving, and we keep setting new goals. So here's my new goal. I think this would make a good birthday present for Pastor. Now, I know his birthday's only in a couple months, but that's not too hard for God, okay? So uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying we've got to keep our faith uh, hot, hot. I'll just say hot. So I wa also wanted you to know we now have a committee. We haven't met yet, but <laughs> we have a committee, and it's Mark and I, and uh, Chris and Sherry Stevens, Ryan Hoagland, and Alice. And we have lots of things that we've got planned coming up. And one of the things is we do have a nice thank you gift that we're going to start passing out in January for those that have made that commitment. So I'm not discouraged, and I hope you're not either. Um, I think it would be a great birthday gift. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say on that. So now to the offering message, and I'll try not to make this too long. Uh, Luke quoted Jesus in Acts chapter 20, verse 35, when he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And, you know, we, we quote that a lot. We say that a lot. We say Jesus said, and he did say it, but that's not written in the Gospels. It's written in the book of Acts. In the Amplified, that says, it makes one happier and more to be envied. Okay, so did any of you see the report on the 700 Club the other day? It's been a couple weeks. Um, and it was about the physical benefits of giving. And yes. without going into too much detail, this study was done by the medical profession. And this doctor was reporting on the now proven benefits of giving. So let me just share a few of those with me. Studies show generosity triggers a number of significant changes, all good, mentally and physically. Givers live longer, happier, healthier lives. Yeah. 
giving can reduce stress and reverse the effects of stress. Giving reduces blood pressure. Did, did I tell you that this has been proven now by the medical profession? Giving can slow your heart rate. Giving reduces depression. Giving releases these endorphins, which are these feel-good chemicals in your brain, which can reduce pain. And these, these uh, endorphins also exert a healing effect on sick-looking cells in your body. So, now, we don't give for those reasons, but those are the results of when we do give. Uh, we give because he is our Heavenly Father, and he's given us everything. He gave us his best. We should give him, give him, give him our best. Amen. We give because we love him and we want to worship him. But the benefits I'm talking about will open the door for you to share your testimony. Yes. And that's what we're all about. The world is looking at you and saying, what's up? Why don't they ever go to the doctor? Why are they always happy? Why are they always healthy? Those benefits should be being shown in your life to the world. And that opens the door for you to say, it's because of my God. And you can know him too. So that's the, that's the results of those benefits. Um, I, I want people to say that about me. Why are you so healthy? Why are you so happy? Why are you so blessed? And we can answer that. A long time ago, there used to be a commercial, so this is going to date me, that said, milk, it does a body good. Remember that? Okay, give, it does a body good. It does this body good. It does this body good. Let's give unto the Lord this morning.